Hello, my cherished viewers. Welcome to Ayaba Moses Health TV. Today, we are going to be discussing how we manage premature ejaculation. Having talked about some common causes of premature ejaculation, it's very important for us to know how we manage premature ejaculation. There are a number of ways for managing premature ejaculation. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any important updates about our health. The first way of managing premature ejaculation is by the behavioral technique. In some cases, therapy for premature ejaculation might involve taking simple steps, such as masturbating for an hour or two before sexual intercourse, so that you are able to delay ejaculation during sex. Your doctor might also recommend avoiding sexual intercourse for a period of time and focusing on other types of sexual play so that the pressure is removed from your sexual encounters. Another way of managing premature ejaculation is through the pelvic floor exercises. Weak pelvic floor muscles might impair your ability to delay ejaculation. Pelvic floor exercises such as Kegel exercises can strengthen these muscles. To perform these exercises, there are three ways. You need to find the right muscles, perfect the technique, and maintain your focus. To identify your pelvic floor muscles, stop urination in midstream or tighten the muscles that keep you from passing gas. These maneuvers use your pelvic floor muscles. You can do the exercises in any position, although you might find it easier doing them lying down at first. Tighten your pelvic floor muscles, hold the contraction for three seconds and then release for three seconds. Try it a few times in a row. When your muscles get stronger, try doing these schedule exercises while sitting, standing or even walking. For the best results, focus on tightening only your pelvic muscles or your pelvic floor muscles. Be careful not to flex the muscles in your abdomen, thighs or buttocks. Avoid holding your breath. Instead, breathe freely during the exercises. Repeat this exercise three times in a day. Aim for at least three sets of 10 repetitions a day. Another technique you can also use to manage premature ejaculation is what we call the pause squeeze technique. Begin sexual activity as usual, including stimulation of the penis, until you feel almost ready to ejaculate. Have your partner squeeze the end of your penis at a point where the head or the glands of the penis joins the shaft or the body of the penis and maintain the squeeze for several seconds until the edge to ejaculate passes. Have your partner repeat the process as necessary. By repeating as many times as necessary, you can reach the point of entering your partner without ejaculating. After some practice sessions, the feeling of knowing how to delay ejaculation might become a habit that no longer requires the pause squeeze method. If the pause squeeze method or technique causes pain or discomfort, another technique is to stop sexual stimulation just prior to ejaculation. Wait until the level of arousal has diminished and then start again. This approach is also known as the stop start technique. Condoms have been also been very effective for managing premature ejaculation. Condoms tend to decrease the penis sensitivity, which can help delay ejaculation. Climax control condoms are available over the counter. These condoms contain numbing agents such as benzocaine or lidocaine or are made of thicker letters to delay ejaculation. We also use some medications in managing premature ejaculation. First, we have what we call the topical anesthetics. 
anesthetic creams and sprays that contain a numbing agent such as benzokine or lidocaine are sometimes used to treat or manage premature ejaculation. These products are applied to the penis about or for 10 to 15 minutes before sex to reduce sensation and help ejaculation. Although topical anesthetic agents are effective and well tolerated, they have potential side effects. For example, some men report temporary loss of sensitivity and decreased sexual pleasure. Sometimes female partners have also reported these side effects. We can also use oral medication in management of premature ejaculation. Many medications might delay orgasm. Although none of these drugs are specifically approved by the Food and Drugs Authority to treat premature ejaculation, some are used for this purpose. Some of the medications used for this purpose include antidepressants, which are used in managing depression, analgesics, or what we call the painkillers, and phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors. This medication improves the dil dilation of the blood vessels and the relaxation of smooth muscles. So it helps you to maintain erection for a longer period of time. All these classes of medications might be prescribed alone or in combination with other treatments. The last management method I want to talk about is the counseling method. And this approach involves talking with a mental health provider about your relationships and experiences. These sessions can help you reduce performance anxiety and find better ways of coping with stress. Counseling is most likely to help when it's used in combination with drug therapy. Talking about a problem is an important step and relationship counseling or sex therapy might also be really helpful. So these are some of the ways we manage premature ejaculation. So if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you have any question in mind or any topic you want me to do a video on, kindly leave them at the comment section. I'll have a look at them and then I'll do a video on it. Till I come your way the next time with an exciting video on health topic, stay healthy. Bye.